Hey guys, what's up? After Effects VFX here, and this is a video response to Cray Design's animated watermark. Excuse me. Um, so basically, what I'm showing you is an alternative way of doing what his portion of After Effects was. Um, in his animated watermark video, he went into After Effects and he duplicated the watermark several times to cover up the entire video. Now an easier way to do that would be just to loop the original footage that you got from Cinema 4D, or the PNG sequence, I should say, to loop that footage only on one layer. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that now. So first, you can import your footage, or your uh, watermark. To do so, just go to File, Import, and you can click File. Or, you can right click in the project window, go to import file or you can just double click in the project window okay and then click the first P PNG in the sequence and make sure PNG sequence is selected and go ahead and click open and now it'll open all 91 files because uh, there's a zero there instead of just starting at one it's starting at zero and that's 91 files um, so now, instead of dragging this down to here to the new comp, what we're going to do is we're going to create a composition the same length as our footage, not our watermark. So, go up here to new composition, or if you have footage, just drag your footage out to the composition right here, and it'll automatically create that composition for you. But since I don't have any footage, I'm going to go to new composition, okay, I'm going to click two minutes. I'm going to type two minutes right here, 30 frames a second, and I'll just leave comp one as the name. All right, so now now I can drag out my footage, and now as you can see, it's way smaller than the actual composition, but what we can do to fix that is just loop it on this one layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, go up here to the project panel, this project panel right here, Go ahead and right click on the, f um, the sequence, go to interpret footage, main. Okay, and then down here at the loop times, uh, I want it to loop 40 times in my case because I have two minute video, I have two minute composition that I want to fill up, and I, my, my video is three seconds long, so uh, three times 40 would be 120 which is two minutes long so 120 seconds equals two minutes obviously but um, yeah so 40 times and that makes the composition long enough I mean the the sequence long enough to last the entire time and it's only on one layer so it's pretty pretty handy okay so yeah that's pretty awesome and you can RAM preview it or whatever and there it is Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will see you guys next time.